so having some bolster blankets nearby, getting yourself comfortable. We're going to start sitting tonight, getting your spine nice and long, maybe tucking your chin in a little bit and stacking your shoulders above your hips and then closing your eyes allowing yourself to go inside. And today's theme is the metal element. And the metal element is connected to our lung and large intestine meridian systems. So we're going to be exploring those areas and both of those energy channels run from the tips of our fingers to our shoulder and up to our bottom of our nose. So a lot of arm stretches tonight. But before we go there, let's connect with our breath. So feeling the cool air flowing in. And as you exhale, maybe letting out a ha ah, sigh, feeling your shoulders releasing a little bit more, allowing yourself to arrive here, and checking in to see how your body is feeling in this moment. Each day is a new day. It's always good to bring awareness to your body, to your breath. See how you're feeling. Feeling the cool air flowing in and maybe warm air flowing back out. As you breathe in through your nose and back out through your nose, see if you can get your breath to go a little deeper down into your torso. Expanding your lungs a little bit more and letting them sink back down. We're going to make a deeper connection with our lungs. So take your hands, placing them just around your rib cage, and you can close your eyes again. As you breathe, just feeling your rib cage bellowing out, expanding out. And as you exhale, feel those ribs sinking back in. Beautiful expansion, and lovely contraction. Creating more space for more fresh prana to come in. And you can flutter your eyes open, stretch your arms out. So our lung meridian energy line goes from our thumb, the inside of the thumb, up the arm, inside of the um, elbow crease, and then ends up just in this soft spot right here. So take both of your hands, maybe taking your thumbs, and just massaging into the end point of this lung energy highway. 
helping to release any congestion that you might be experiencing in your lungs. So our lungs is also where we tend to hold grief and sadness. So helping to move any of that grief and sadness away just by massaging here. Beautiful. And then we'll release the arms. We're going to take a cupped hand for the right hand and we're going to gently tap along the inside of that arm up the arm to our shoulder and then when you get up there let's switch sides taking the other cupped hand and tapping all the way up to the shoulder beautiful let's take our hands to the shoulders maybe taking your uh, ring finger and your pinky thing finger into those points and we'll just make some circles here with our elbows moving with your breath so as you bring the elbows together you're exhaling maybe rounding your back inhale expanding getting some more space there Moving nice and slow. See how your shoulders are feeling. Beautiful. And then we'll take the elbows in the other direction, lifting them up, opening up. Inhale and then rounding them back down. Exhale. Nice and slow and full breaths. Beautiful. And then coming back to center, letting your arms rest, your palms up onto your knees, closing your eyes again. Coming back into your breath, maybe noticing any flood of energy up your arms. And then we'll come all the way down onto our hands and knees. And we're going to start out into our child's pose. So you can have your knees a little wider apart, feet are together, sliding yourself forward. If your head doesn't reach the mat, you can always stack your fists. But if your arms can extend and your head can touch the floor, and just come into this shape. Allowing your hips to relax. Allowing your face to soften. Coming back to your rib cage and feeling your ribs expand as you inhale. And bring them back in as you exhale. Allowing anything that doesn't need to be working here to relax, to be soft. If you're feeling any issues, any pain in your shoulder, you might want to open up your elbows a little bit more, creating some more space here.
from here, we're going to bring our hands and our head over to the right. Bring a nice side body stretch. Maybe bringing your left hand on top of your right. We'll take five more breaths here. And then coming back to center and slowly bringing your hands and your head over to the left, resting your right hand on top of your left, feeling a nice stretch along the left side body. Hips stay resting down on the floor towards the heels. Taking five more breaths on this side. And then we'll come back to center. We're going to slide forward onto the mat, bringing your belly down and taking a moment with your head just onto your hands, legs stretching out, bringing your breath back down into your belly. Expanding your rib cage. And from here, we're going to come into a little broken wing. So, what we're going to do is send your left arm out into a T shape. I'll just show you on this side, so like this. And letting your head relax down so that your left cheek is on the floor. Maybe bringing your right hand underneath your shoulder and then just rolling over onto your side. So you can have your knees bent like this if that works. If you want to have it a little deeper, you can bring your foot onto the floor. So just making sure there's no sharp pains in your shoulder, making any adjustments so that it feels right for you. Allowing any sensations to happen here. And again, with yin, it's kind of like we are cutting off some circulation, so like you uh, kink a hose. And by doing that, when you bring yourself back, then it's like a flood of fresh energy that enters into that energy highway. So here we're getting into that lung meridian area. So taking 
some time here, softening your shoulders. Maybe letting your right arm rest onto the floor. Sending your breath all the way down into your belly. You can close your eyes. Softening your face. Noticing any sensations that you might be experiencing in that left arm. And just making sure there's no tingling at the ends of your fingers. You feel maybe a, a flow instead of energy. You don't want to be pinching any nerves here. You're getting into the ligaments and the tendons. And we'll take 10 more breaths here. And then we'll slowly come out of this. So stretching your legs back out, rolling gently and easily back onto your stomach. And then we'll just bring that little wing in and rest your forehead back down onto the floor, onto your hands. Taking a couple of breaths here. And then we'll get ready to do the other side. So stretching that right arm out. And we'll just slowly roll onto our right side. Maybe bending your knees a little bit. Making any adjustments to your right hand. Making sure you are not feeling any sharp pains here. Just a gentle pressure in that shoulder area. Allowing everything to soften. Left arm relaxing, shoulders relax. And just focusing here on your breath. Expanding the rib cage with each inhalation and sinking back down with each exhalation.
And we'll take five more breaths here. And then stretching your legs back out and slowly rolling back. Let's bring that right arm in. Maybe coming into a little sphinx pose, letting your elbows come underneath your shoulders. Feet nice and wide. And just letting your shoulders move away from your ears. Breathing all the way down into your belly. And getting a nice massage down into your belly as you breathe in. So when the metal element is in balance, you can Feel like you're in the flow. Becoming more spacious. And allowing yourself to fill your life with something new. Let's bring the elbows back out, taking your hands underneath your shoulders and pushing yourself back up into a table position. You're going to come into a puppy dog pose. So your hips are going to stay up. We're going to slide the arms forward, maybe nice and wide here, bringing your head down towards the mat. If your shoulders are tight, you can always bring a bolster in, bringing it in here and maybe resting your arms onto the bolster. So just listening to how you're feeling here, making sure it feels right for you and making sure that you can get a nice stretch, allowing your heart and your lungs to sink down towards the mat. Allowing your forehead to make the connection with the earth.
And we'll slowly slide the hands underneath the shoulders, easing our way back up. We're going to swing our legs around, maybe taking um, a blanket if you have it. We're going to sit on the blanket just so our hips are a little bit higher than they usually would be. Having your um, legs outstretched. Sitting up nice and tall. So our um, large intestine meridian runs from the pointer finger all the way up this area here, across that little um, point in the center where your thumb and your first finger meet. And then it comes all the way up here, up your neck, and the end point is just underneath your nose. So let's take our pointer fingers and just massage underneath each nostril. So this is a good way to relieve any congestion that you might experience in the large intestines. And then just shaking those fingers, um, we'll take our right hand and just pressing the thumb into that point right in between the webbing there, and maybe giving it a little massage that he wants to join today. Massaging in there and see if there's any tenderness that you're feeling in that web. Anything that's stuck, keeping you and releasing and letting go. And then we'll move over to the other side and see how this side feels. Noticing if there's a little more tenderness or less tenderness on this side. And then releasing that. If you have a bolster, you might want to bring it underneath your belly. We're going to take our arms out in front and let the right elbow come underneath the left, maybe grabbing hold of your shoulders. Breathing into that upper back. And if this feels okay for you, you can leave your hands like that. Or if you want, you can bring the palms together into eagle arms. So if this is not comfortable, you can always bring your hands back to your shoulders. But if you can, we can be in eagle arms. And we're going to fold down over the bolster. Letting your head relax so you'll feel an intense stretch here in the upper back, maybe even in your hamstrings. So if your back is tender, you can even cross your legs if that feels better for you. And just breathing into that upper back, breathing into those lungs. Letting your head relax down. Maybe your feet are relaxing and opening. Remember to soften. Soften your face, your shoulders, your neck. Maybe even taking the tip of your tongue to the, just behind your top teeth, resting it there, helps to remind you to relax your jawline. Focusing on your breath.
And with each exhalation, letting go a little bit more. And very slowly, let's bring ourselves back up, uncrossing your arms, and maybe moving that bolster out of the way. We'll give the legs a little, little movement here, maybe bending your knees and just letting your knees go from side to side. And then coming back up, we're going to stretch the legs back out and bring that bolster back up. We're going to do the other side. So take your left elbow underneath the right, maybe bringing your hands on your shoulders or maybe bringing your palms together. And breathing all the way into that upper back expanding like gills on a fish. And when you're ready, you can fold forward, resting over your bolster, your pillow, letting your head relax down. Face softening. Breathing into that upper back, in the rib cage. Allowing any sadness or grief to move on through. So don't be surprised if in any of these shapes you find you're releasing sadness or grief. Emotions are to be moved and released. Emotions are energy in motion. And when we don't move them out, they get stuck. And then we get stuck. So on the other side of grief is love.
We'll take five more breaths here. And then slowly making your way back up, uncrossing your arms and removing the prop out of the way. And we'll just take that blanket from underneath our hips. And we're going to lay all the way down onto the mat. Having your knees bent. Getting your spine nice and long. Breathing freely and easily here. We're going to take our left hand and we're going to lift our hips and slide the left hand underneath your back. Maybe you can grab hold of your right arm with that left fingertips and then let your hips come back down. We're going to take the right arm and stretch it out into a T-shape. And then from here, maybe letting your knees float down towards the right. Letting your head look over towards the left. If it's too intense for your hand to be behind your back, you're welcome to bring it out into a T-shape. See if you can allow that left shoulder to relax a little bit more, making any adjustments with your knees and your feet. Feeling your lungs expanding. As your lungs expand all the way into your ribs, your diaphragm gives your internal organs, your large intestines, a nice massage. So the two organs work together. So you always remember to keep your breath nice and deep. Allowing the breath to massage and to help move things along. Softening what doesn't need to be holding here. Allowing yourself to let go.
And then we'll slowly bring our head and our knees back to center, lifting your hips and sliding that left arm out. Let's bring our knees into our chest for a little hug. Taking a few moments to breathe here. And then we'll bring the feet back down to the floor. We're going to slide the right hand underneath your back, lift your hips up, and then placing your hips back down. See how this shoulder feels. We'll spread that left arm out towards the left. And when you're ready, letting your knees float down towards the left, head to the right. See if you can relax your right shoulder a little bit more. Allowing yourself to let go here. Face soft, shoulders relaxing. And then slowly bringing your knees and your head back to center. Lifting your hips will release that right arm. And taking hold of your knees again. Rocking from side to side. Maybe placing a hand on each knee and taking those knees into a circle. And then the other direction. And then we're going to maybe take our bolster and our blanket, placing the bolster underneath our knees, getting ourselves nice and comfy, maybe putting a blanket on top, and laying all the way down. Letting yourself feel the beautiful support of the floor. Closing your eyes. And just noticing how your arms feel. Letting them resting by your sides, palms facing up. Maybe feeling that energy flowing through those energy highways. Breathing through your nose, expanding your rib cage.
giving yourself permission to rest and digest all of those beautiful shapes, all of those wonderful poses. Bringing your awareness down to the tips of your toes. Imagine relaxing energy flowing down each of your toes. Down to your heels and around your ankles. Moving up each of your legs, over your knees, and all the way up to your hips. Moving around your hips and up your spine. reaching your shoulders and feel that energy moving back down your arms. And all the way up your neck, all the way up to the top of your head. Feeling all that wonderful relaxation. Feeling fully supported by the floor beneath you. I'd like to share a poem by Zach Beach called The Real Miracle. The real miracle is turning wine into water to let go of our addictions, fueling ethereal happiness and focus instead on what truly nourishes us. The real miracle is allowing joy to flower from within the real miracle is knowing what we are capable of. The real miracle is being able to change our point of view and see nothing but miracles. The springtime that happens after every winter, the butterfly waking up with the dawn and shaking off morning dew, cobblestones and sidewalks, food and fire, Slow walks in the woods to hear that song again that aligns your hairs, bringing goosebumps to the surface of your skin, and the course of love making its way through your, your young relationships, molding each participant into their own constellations. Sacrifice yourself on the altar let your light burn away, supposed solidarity, and reject anything that doesn't turn you into a pattern of twinkling light. 
and allow the miracle that is you to be revealed. Just beginning to wiggle your fingers and toes, bringing a full breath into your belly, and slowly and gently making your way back up to a comfortable seated position. Let's bring our left hand to our heart center, right hand out. So as we give, so we shall receive. Taking a nice full breath in, we'll do three ohms, feeling it in your heart. Breathing in. Ah. Ah. Bringing your hands together at your heart center, and may you all have a wonderful evening. Namaste.